Right, x plus 2 over x minus 2 minus x minus 1 over x plus 3 as a single fraction. So writing that out, x plus 2 over x minus 2 minus x minus 1 over x plus 3. So the LCM of x minus 2 and x plus 3 would be x minus 2 times x plus 3. So think how you actually add fractions together with numbers. So the common denominator would be x minus 2, x minus 3. You are advised not to multiply that out at this stage. Now, because here we've multiplied x minus 2 by x plus 3, you need to do the same to the denominator. So we've got x plus 3 times x plus 2. The minus sign then goes in here. And here we've multiplied this x plus 3 by x minus 2. Now we have to expand the brackets in the numerator so we're going to have make quite a long line here now so we're going to do x times x plus 2 plus 3 times x plus 2 minus now we need to introduce some more brackets so, so we introduce this big square bracket here x times x minus 1 minus 2 times x minus 1 and close that bracket off and the, the important thing here is not to do too much in one go. So we're going to do x times x, which is x squared. x times 2, which is 2x. Plus 3 times x, which is 3x. And then 3 times 2, which is 6. We're still going to keep that bracket in. Then we're going to do x times x, which is x squared. x times minus 1, which is x. Minus 2 times x, which is minus 2x. And now here we have to be careful. Minus 2 times minus 1 gives a plus 2. This is a very common mistake to get not get the sign right here. Still got the brackets in because we've got a minus sign in front. Still all, all over x minus 2, x plus 3. So collect together some like terms here. So 2x plus 3x is going to make 5x plus 6. And now we're going to take uh, minus, keep that bracket in, x squared minus x minus 2x makes minus 3x plus 2 over x minus 2, x plus 3. This line will now appear on the top of the next slide. Right, we're going to now remove this last bracket here. So we're going to get the common denominator, and we're going to have x squared plus 5x plus 6, minus x squared plus 3x, minus 2, collect like terms, so we're going to the x squared and this minus x squared to cancel out, so you're going to do that, you do one one way, one the other, now we have 5x plus 3x which makes 8x, 6 minus 2 which makes plus 4, still over x minus 2, x plus 3, there's a common factor of 4, Take that out, then we're going to have 2x plus 1 over x minus 2, x plus 3. And that's going to be our final answer for this question. Okay, so this has been a video to show you how to subtract two algebraic fractions. I hope you've understood, and I thank you very much for watching.